If you have been watching our channel for any length of time, you know that the Abacos are near and dear to us. We purchased the space between in Marsh Harbor after she spent her time living in the beautiful seafoam sea. However, it is Treasure Key that is our home away from home. My grandparents purchased a villa there almost 40 years ago and never missed a winter until they passed away. Loving it so much, they purchased the villa next door so they could share their slice of paradise with friends and family. We spent many a vacations growing up in Treasure and have too many memories to count. As my grandparents aged, my mom and stepdad moved in next door to be there for them. And they have spent more than half of the year there for over a decade. Every Bahamas charter we have done in the past two years has been in the Abacos, as we wanted to share our slice of paradise with our guests. We have shared Piggyville and the crazy little pigs, nippers, grabbers, and all their chaos, Hope Town with Sip Sip, the lighthouse, Harbor View, pinkish sand beaches, Treasure Key, the Tipsy Seagull, Florence's Bakery, Powder Sand Beaches, Crystal Blue Waters, Karen and her generous taxi drives, and the smiling faces at the Treasure Key Marina. Green Turtle's Bluff House and Miss Emily's Blue Bee Bar and her authentic Goombay smashes. The Stingrays of Munjack, Tahiti Beach, and of course, Cheeseburger in Paradise. To think of it as just gone makes me sick to my stomach. Everything can be re rebuilt with time, love, money, and helping hands. It is going to take a long while, and I'm sure our route will have to change for future Bahamian charters. But our prayer is that with everyone's help, it will be sooner rather than later, that she becomes a tourist attraction once again. We are asking all of you who have either enjoyed our Bahamian adventures or been on one of your own to do something that will benefit the island in any way you can. There are links below for our suggestions.